14 million people voted for me to be the nominee in the Democratic Party. Okay? I listen to them. President Joe Biden officially exiting the race for the White House, throwing his support behind Vice President Kamala Harris. Here's national correspondent Kayla Gaskins. After weeks of mounting pressure from his own party, following the poor debate performance, Joe Biden stepping down from the top of the ticket. It is time to pass the torch so that we can have our best chance of winning in November. The announcement made Sunday afternoon on social media. Joe Biden posting a letter to his personal accounts that reads in part, while it has been my intention to seek re-election, I believe it is in the interest of my party and the country for me to stand down. I'm emotional because I am still, still riding with Biden. I still support my president. In a follow-up post, he gave Vice President Kamala Harris his full endorsement as heir apparent to the nomination. The president making it clear he plans to serve the rest of his term. Donald Trump responding to the news on Truth Social, writing, Crooked Joe Biden was not fit to run for president and is certainly not fit to serve. CNN reporting Trump thinks Kamala Harris will be easier to beat. House Speaker Mike Johnson demanding Joe Biden resign immediately. Earlier in the day, Johnson saying this to CNN. It's an interesting question, Jake. If he's incapable of running for president, how is he capable of, of governing right now? I mean, there is five months left in this administration. It's, it's a real concern, and it's a danger to the country. President Biden spent the past week secluded in Delaware, recovering from COVID-19, reportedly growing increasingly furious as top Democrats like Nancy Pelosi and Barack Obama flaked on their support. For weeks, Democrat mega donors expressed concerns over Biden's ability to do the job, some withholding donations, fueling alarm among party leaders. As the pressure increased, Democrats began preparing for a potential Kamala Harris run should she end up as the nominee, an effort reportedly underway to vet who could run as her vice president. Kamala Harris releasing a statement saying, I am honored to have the president's endorsement and my intention is to earn and win this nomination. Even with Biden's endorsement, Kamala Harris faces an uncertain path. The Democratic convention in Chicago, which starts August 19th, could be an open Open contest rather than a coronation. The nearly 4,700 delegates picking who they want to put up against Donald Trump this November. In Washington, I'm Kayla Gaskins. With the president's endorsement, Kamala Harris finds herself with another potential opportunity to break even more barriers. Harris is the first woman, black person, or person of Southern, South Asian descent to serve as vice president. Should she win the nomination and in November, she'd be the first woman to serve as president. Harris was widely seen as the favorite to replace Biden. An AP NORC poll conducted last week found six in 10 Democrats thought Harris would be a good job in the top spot, compared to two in 10 against the move and another 2 in 10 who didn't know enough to decide. With the latest announcement of President Joe Biden dropping out of his re-election campaign, Montana delegates are speaking out. Montana Governor Greg Gianforte saying there are a lot of unanswered questions that Americans deserve answers about, going on to question if he can even finish his current term. Senator Steve Daines referencing the presidential debate, saying it was clear something was wrong with President Biden, adding with the lack of Democratic support for Vice President Kamala Harris that they believe she's unqualified to serve as Commander-in-Chief. Representative Ryan Zeke saying not to run for re-election is the right move, but far too late as the administration saw many unmitigated disasters, foreign and domestic. Lastly, Representative Matt Rosendale reiterating he's glad the Democratic Party came to grips that President Joe Biden can't be president. Eventually, Senator John Tester releasing this statement saying he respects President Biden's decision, believing it's the right thing, thanking Biden for his lifetime of public service. Democrats will need to coalesce around one candidate. The party had planned to hold an early vote to officially nominate President Biden. There's questions now whether the virtual vote will still take place or if they will wait until the August convention. Delegates could reach a majority during the early voting, deciding the new nominee. If they don't reach a majority, it would pave the way for a wide open convention. More information continues to unfold during this election season. For your latest decision 2024 headlines, stick with NBC Montana on air and online. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, X, TikTok, and YouTube for 24-7 coverage leading up to election day.